Hey everybody, it's Saturday and everybody's around today and uh, we've got our cattle all fed. We're gonna get caught up on something we've been doing a terrible job of. Since we've been out here at this ranch for uh, about a year, we have done a terrible job of keeping up on our roping addiction. In fact, I'm almost recovered. Uh, maybe today will, you know, let me slide back over the slope, but we're gonna start breaking in some roping cattle right here. If any of you are interested in team roping, we got some stuff to show you. There's a few things we'll do a little bit different. One of them is we're not going to be roping horned cattle. Most team roping cattle are Mexican Coriannis or a, a crossbreed of Longhorn and Mexican Coriani cattle. Those are expensive when you buy them. They're worth nothing when you resell them. We're not using them anymore. In the past, we've always kept some horned cattle around, but it's gotten to where it's not economical. So... We're going to be roping regular black Angus cattle, some calves that we've sorted off up here, kind of just some odds and ends, some little steers, little heifers, little bull calves, just kind of a hodgepodge mix of absolutely no horned black cattle. There's old Tough. Tough's a good pony. It's got the worst confirmation of any performance horse you've ever seen. And it's probably one more than most performance horses that you know of. So it's all about what kind of heart. There's Big B. He's a good horse when he quits bucking. And he hasn't been roped on for a while, so kind of wish some young cowboy would get on him first, but maybe I'll have to do it. One important thing when you're roping, you gotta have good shoot help. Reggie, Reggie who's shoot help today? Do you know how to operate that shoot? All right, you gotta have good shoot help. Okay. Don't go up behind that horse. Look, oh, down here, Ridge, over here by the gate. Get him, Ridge, hurry. Hurry. You gotta be fast. You sneaky. You gotta jump. And you gotta catch him oh, now. you got him now. You got him now. There he goes. Ready? Jump on it, ready? <laughs> oh, you're never gonna so, catch him. That's a speedy lizard. I about caught it, but it was too fast. Okay, can you team ropers explain what we're doing today? We are. So, when you get steers, they're not just perfect yet. You're roping steers. You gotta break them in, you gotta train them. Train them to do the whole, come out, run straight, go to the bottom, turn, hop all the way across the arena so you can have fun roping them. So what we're gonna do, as I guess I'm putting on the shoot, is what we're doing at the start, yeah, we'll put it on in the shoot. Put the first. head rope on in the shoot. Then his dad's gonna run out a little ways. We're just gonna kind of just chase them around him, teach them to just go around. The, their way to get out and go to the pen where their feet is and their safe is to go around the head horse and down. Just teach them that stopping and dragging ain't gonna save their life. Hurrying and getting around and going to the pen. Well. Yeah, we don't want them to get heavy. That's the main thing. If they get heavy and start dragging, then that's not gonna go good. So. Dad. Train them to hop good, then these healers can catch them easy. Gives the ropers confidence. That's my secret to training good ropers, is training good cattle, make it easy. Then the ropers think they're better than they really are. Confidence is more important than skills. And I have a story about Ram, about that confidence thing. So when he was just a little bitty guy, we roped a lot at the house in Newcastle. And always I headed for him. I broke in some really, really nice little Coriani cows and I would just head them on a short rope and handle them just hop, hop, hop. So nice and so easy. And he had gotten to where he could catch like what, 12 out of 12? For a little bitty guy, he was really healing good. So then we uh, go off to a roping down in Arizona. He just thinks he's gonna win the world. And we get there and he gets a bunch of other headers who are 
you know, also novice ropers, really amateur, and these headers catch the cow and head out of there 100 miles an hour, yanking them all over. And uh, Rem, <laughs> he'd catch a leg here or there, but it was not going well. Nothing like how good it went in practice at home. When we got in the truck to leave, he had tears in his eyes. <laughs> and he was like, at home I can catch them all. When we come to the road, I can't catch anything. I was like, buddy, you're going to have to step it up a notch. I've been babysitting you at home. He's like, you made me think I was better than I am. He was all burnt out about it. But he got the hint, and we got home and started working him up to roping cattle that are not handled by your daddy. And uh, now you've seen some of the shots he's made lately. Yeah! He <laughs> He can heal anything now, but he had to learn that not everybody's going to babysit him like his daddy did when he was a little guy. So that's the rope and cattle. I told you we didn't have horn cattle. I forgot. Uh, rope hog has two cows in here, and they do have horns, but they're old, already trained cows, so we don't need to train them. They might actually help to show these young ones what they need to do. Look, you have to push up on that. Push it up, 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 up. Lift, lift, grab it right there. Lift up. This calf's never been roped. We're gonna let it just a little ways out of here, not really let it get burning, running fast. Let it go a little bit, then take a hold of it. And then Ram's gonna try to come behind and just try to get that cow to circle my horse. And if it'll lope or hop in a circle around my horse one time and does good, then we're gonna let it go and take it onto the catch pin. So it starts to learn that that's the way out is to hop right around there. Yep, let it go. Yep, do it right now. Gonna get bucked off. Uh -huh.
okay. What are we doing, Dad? Oh, we're about to try another one. Did you see my horse buck on that first one? That's kind of what we expected him to do. That's why I own him. Dad, do I get you the next one, Dad? Did you, you video on? Yeah. Have you that... noticed I catch every time? Mm-hmm. I don't miss. This is pretty much the perfect breaking in run on one of these cows. The cow kind of has to think about it, but finally figures out to come on around. I think that cow will hop next time we use him. This is what we call the strip and shoot. It catches them down here at the end so we can get all the ropes off. Once the ropes are off, 
rough. Let them out. Voila. Just like so. It takes this guy a second to get his feet under him and figure out the program, but right about here, he kind of takes off, makes his way on around there, so he might get it figured out and be okay. Team ropers, in a way, are kind of a soft crowd, and uh, they like roping, but they like it to go easy and go good. They like to always catch and always win and all that. But breaking in steers is a little bit like work, so it's sort of a necessary evil. If you'll take the time and break these cattle in right, then you will have a lot of nice days roping them and it'll go good. But like anything else in life, you get out of it what you put into it. And, uh, Got to break these things in right, do the work ahead of time before you can enjoy some nice, easy team roping later. I'm aboard. I got gotcha. you. Bike's just a little bit tall. You ready? Start pedaling, start going. You got it? Yeah. Reggie, you finally got your horse back? So, what's happening right now was really scary and could have been dangerous, but it turned out okay. The kids started to notice that Robbie had ridden up the road and was almost to the pond while the male lady was coming down from the house. That pond's right on a corner of the road with a big pond bank you can't see around it. So from where we were, we could see that Robbie couldn't see the male lady and the male lady couldn't see him and they were about to meet on that turn. It was too far for anybody to get over there. All we could do was start trying to yell and hope he could hear us and get off the road. Come on. That's my buddy, huh? Good fun. When are you going to start roping, Rhett? When you're a big boy, are you going to rope cows? No rains. No rains. No rains. You're going to fall. Riley, Riley, 
Luckily, Robbie and that vehicle saw each other in time to each scoot over, and it wasn't a Robbie, problem. But it was really a scary for us for a minute because the there was nothing we could do. Robbie! Where's he going? Hey, so that was breaking in steers. I've seen it go worse before, so pretty happy. Most of those I think are gonna turn out okay. One good thing about it, if any of them turn out to be no good, we'll just haul them up here to the house, put them in the feedlot up here and uh, switch them out for some new fresh ones. So give us another week or two working on it. We'll have a nice set. And then maybe we can get busy on some practicing and go somewhere and win something. Maybe I'll go win something. That's been a while. You gonna go win anything? Still driving. Yeah.